I think you're absolutely right in, in that regard. Let me just ask, Ms. Davis, you've refused to commit that these research and findings will be made public. Who will make that decision at Facebook? I don't know that there's any, uh, Senator, that there's any one person who will make that decision. I do know that there are many people looking at- Well, let me, let me just ask you, isn't it, isn't it a fact that Mark Zuckerberg is the one who will make that decision? Respectfully, Senator, this is a kind of decision that would involve many people in the company. We need to look at our privacy uh, obligations, and we are looking to be, to provide more transparency. Well, with all due respect to you, the word transparency is easy to use. It's hard to do. And so far, there is nothing that you have said to indicate that disclosure of these findings, conclusions, recommendations, facts known to Facebook about the harmful effects of its products will be made available. And in fact, that a decision will be made by any specific time or by any particular individual. Can you tell us more? Respectfully, Senator, I think that our, our commitment to transparency in the last few years should be a very good indication of our, uh, of our commitment. We've launched a transparency report regularly. We have uh, set up an oversight board. We have uh, human rights impact assessments. We're doing a tremendous amount to ensure transparency around, around our platform. And we're looking for ways to give independent researchers access to data so that they can do independent studies as well. You know, that is perhaps one of the most discouraging parts of your testimony, that you're relying on your past record of transparency for what you will do in the future. The fact of the matter is, there are thousands of documents that we have only because a whistleblower has come forward, documents that show your own findings. That is directly the opposite of transparency, Ms. Davis. I realize that you are testifying here about the efforts of Facebook to counter those documents, but the only way to counter facts is with real transparency. Uh, let me ask you, uh, while we're waiting for other senators to arrive, I know that some are on their way. Uh, for years, uh, Instagram did nothing about eating disorders. It began to take some small steps only when a 14-year-old girl, her name is Molly Russell, took her own life. She was getting trapped in that perfect storm that Facebook researchers described. Your own researchers called it a perfect storm. Our research has shown that right now, in real time, Instagram's recommendations will still latch on to a person's insecurities, a young woman's vulnerabilities about their bodies and drag them into dark places that glorify eating disorders and self-harm. That's what Instagram does. In fact, according to documents provided to me as recently as April of 2021, that's this year, a Facebook engineer raised concerns that, quote, no one has decided to dial into eating disorders, end quote. They documented the problems we have verified. So you knew, you knew. How long should it take to fix these problems? What are you gonna to do to address what we have found just within the past week or so? Senator, we've been working with suicide prevention experts since 2006. We also work with eating disorder experts. We don't allow the promotion of either kind of content on our, on our platform. We do allow individuals to talk about their journeys to recovery because our experts have told us that that's really important and helpful to them. 
we um, we ha have a dedicated reporting flow when it comes to to eating disorder content, and we actually offer resources of support. That's all work that's been generated out of both this research and working working with our working with our experts. So and that let me, will be Ms. Davis, let, because our time is our, our time is limited. In in your answer, in response to my question, what are you going to do to fix the problem? You're essentially saying there's no problem. Is that right? Respectfully, Senator, no. In fact, that's that's not what I'm saying. As long as there's one person dealing with the issue on our platform, we consider it a problem. And actually, there are additional uh, products changes that we're looking at. So, for example, I think I mentioned earlier that we're looking at nudges towards uplifting content. One of the things that has teens themselves have identified as helpful to them when they're dealing with certain issues that they're struggling with, like eating disorders. We're also looking at something called take a break, where we would encourage somebody to take a break when we think they may be rabbit holing down certain kind of content or on the app too long. So you're not committing to any specific steps by any specific time but you do acknowledge there is a problem with eating disorders, with suicidal tendencies that may be fostered or promoted? Sure, Cer certainly, Senator. I think we actually have issues in relation to teens and suicide and eating disorders within our society. And to the extent that those things play out on our platform, we take them extraordinarily seriously. And while you've asked, you mentioned a time commitment, I can't give you a time commitment, but I can tell you that we're working on it. And I can tell you that in addition to all the things that we already do, we'd be happy to follow up with you and share with you our progress in that, in that direction. We take the issue very seriously. I know you take it seriously. At least that's what you're telling us, but all you're doing is looking at these possible steps, and with all due respect, these steps are baby steps, not even baby steps, in the direction of trying to improve Instagram and meet the very serious problems that have been disclosed. Uh, let me come right to the point. Uh, Instagram for kids has been paused. How long will it be paused? I don't have a specific date, but I do have a commitment from, from all of us at, at Facebook that we will be look, speaking to parents, we'll be talking to policymakers like yourselves, we'll be talking to experts. We want to get this right. We also know that young people are online under the age of 12 on apps that aren't designed for them, that we want to get their parents the supervisory tools and insights that they need so that they can manage the amount of time that their child is spending, so they can determine what their child should be seeing or should not be seeing, actually fundamentally to allow them to parent their children. Who will make the decision about how long Instagram for kids is paused? Mark Zuckerberg, right? There's no one person who makes a decision like that. We, we work, think about that collaboratively, but quite, quite honestly, we'll be working with experts to understand and, to, and get to feel that people are in a comfortable place before doing so. Senator Blackburn. Thank you, Mr.